Okay, you guys, I'm going to talk to you about this Apologia math. Just to be clear, I have not used this math. I'm currently using Christian Light for my third grader, and I have an interest in possibly switching to this next year. So I'm going to show you what I've seen by looking through the books. Um, I was able to find a used copy, which gave it to me at a discounted price, so I could kind of get my hands on it and really figure out if it's a good fit for my daughter. Um, we are, like I said, in Christian Light Education for Math, and it is a spiral program, and I have loved it so far. It's really been a good fit. However, I um, it's spiral, and I'm kind of not liking that spiral approach anymore, and I'm looking for a mastery program. And so I've had my eye on this, and I'm going to share it with you. This is level four. They just came out with level five. And I saw on their Facebook page that they're going to have level six next spring. So up to level six for sure. When you open it up and get to the table of contents, I'll kind of just flip the pages. It goes up to six units, the last unit being fractions and decimals. And then when you start a unit, there is a introductory page to kind of just have something to talk about, to get you going, let you know what the skills are. And then we start into our chapter. Um, the lessons sometimes have these little activities. And these, if you see this here, these pages are all in the teacher book. And I'll show you that in a minute. But these activities seem very optional, that you don't really have to do them. Um, and then when you get to the actual lesson, it's all right here how to do it. After the lesson, there are the practice problems. And so for this specific lesson, this is the practice problems that you have. And then it moves on to a different lesson. One of the things I love are these little real world math activities. So for example, this is exploring a state and you're using the information about your state and applying the math to that. I see that a lot in this textbook where it's kind of real life situations. There was one, here it is, where you're writing a check. You know, that's why it's important. One reason it's important to learn numbers in written form. So just a lot of cool things to learn about, but also to apply math to real life subjects. Another example of this is their unit projects. At the end of the unit, there's a little project to do. And for example, this is that first unit. It says, uh, decide which part of the ocean you'd like to explore. Begin your research by completing the table. So you're looking at all of these things and filling out these numbers. And then you're taking that information and filling out this here. And I just, I love how they have that. There was one in here about using the dimensions of your house to make an aquarium, which I thought was so cool. This is that aquarium project, and you can see you're filling out all this information here and answering this question. So just a really neat way to take math out of just that answering these quick skill problems and really using it to find out some fun things. Okay, let's look at the teacher guide and answer key. When you start a unit, it has the supply list for that specific unit and a little description here. I really like that in some areas it tells you how to take it further so you can challenge your student in a certain way. It's not, it doesn't have that for every lesson, but it does have it for some. Um, there's always a little blurb about a lesson. Sometimes it's, you know, advice from the author, how she used it in her practice, or it might just be something to help you out in teaching a lesson. You'll see that the answer keys for the actual lessons are right here and they go in order. They're not just like all in the back. Here's an example of a take it further. Have your child research a dream home they'd like to purchase with your help. Then have them practice writing out the check. There are blank check templates available on the Book Extras website. So I haven't actually been to the Book Extras website, but there is something there. In the back of the teacher book, there are all of these little activities that are already printed for you, ready to cut. Um, not every one of the activities that they have in the lessons uses something from this book. Like sometimes I saw one, it was like grab a few toothpicks. So you don't always have to use something in here, but everything you need for that, if you need a little printout, is right here in the back. I will say there are also some tests back here to give optional tests. And, oh, that was it. Okay, look at there. 
boom and boom. I mean, if you know, you know, right? <laughs> and then um, the, answer, uh, the answers for the test are right before these worksheets, so you have the answer key as well. Okay, I could talk and show curriculum for hours, but I have to like prepare myself for these things to make sure that I talk very quickly and efficiently <laughs> um, so I don't start blabbing. If you have questions, send them my way. I'm happy to answer them. Like I said, I haven't actually used this, so I can only tell you from what I observe. Um, I will say that we're pretty much almost through with our Christian life, so we are going to practice using this. Um, not forever but like we're just gonna get started and see how we like it um, and we'll go from there my hesitation to committing to it is based on my student and her personality my child um, she is one that likes to just sit down and get it done um, and this isn't quite like that however I think it would provide a certain challenge that I think that could be good for her so I'm still bouncing around thinking about what I want to do